here. I'm just going to be quiet for a minute. I know that's unusual, but there's a reason. Can you hear the rain? It's terrible. It's absolutely chucking it down. And uh, I wanted to go out today, but we got up and got ready and we've decided it's too rainy. We're going to try and hold out for tomorrow. But why I'm making this video today is um, it's a bit embarrassing, really. But, you know, I've been on a drought. And not just a silver drought. I've been on um, an everything drought. And I don't seem to be finding nothing. And now I've been blaming me Garrett and saying it can't work on wet ground and things. Well, Twiggy's pointed out that it might be because I've been a bit scruffy. I've not cleaned it for a few weeks, which is true. In fact, about six weeks, to be honest. So um, I'm going to clean it today. I'm going to show you the, you know, how to clean it if you've never cleaned one before. And what state your thing's going to look like, your coil, if you haven't cleaned it for a bit. So it's, I think it's going to be quite embarrassing, this. So here it is, my filthy garret. You can see all the mud on it. Look, I remember how proud I used to be of this. Anyway, let's have a look at the coil. Oh dear, it is a bit scruffy, that. Isn't it, Twiggy? And there's the other side. First of all, I'm going to check my coil. Oh, oh, there's a big crack in it. Look, there's a crack in my, my, my cover. How's that happened? Right, so that it's not abusing. Right, so that's first job. I'm going to clean this up, but I'm going to need to order a, a new coil cover because there's going to be letting all muck stuck in there. So I'm going to take it off now. Anyway, you get the coil cover off. Bye. Uh, oh. I would actually start what? with what? the heel. With, with this end? Yeah. Right. Oh, am I supposed to stick a knife in it or something? No. Oh, it's not quite as easy as what you think, is it? Oh. Oh. Can't do it. Can you do it for me? Can't do it. <laughs> I'd suggest. So Twiggy's going to take the coil cover off now. Is starting with the heel of the coil. There. What I would do is put that against your chest there and just bring it round. Take it off slowly so because you can be shamed at all the muck. That's what you're doing now, just pulling it a little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. Because you don't want to stick a knife in there, do you? No. Or a screwdriver. Can you not get it off either? No. Is it? You've got to use that against there though because you're pulling that way. Oh. You're holding, your, you're holding that there. That's it. Right, let's have a look what's under the coil. Oh, that's pretty disgraceful, that. That's bad, isn't it? You've got look all... at it, look at all this muck here. This is why I've not been picking anything up and I've been getting ghostings because you can get little bits of mineralized sand and stuck on there, so it's just dinging when it thinks it's somewhere there and there isn't. I think it's when it, when it gets wet, there's stuff underneath. That's when you start having the problems. Is it? So... I'd clean that now. Right. Give it a clean and your coil cover. That's a bit dirty, that, isn't it? You're going to be leaving me comments saying you're scruffy. <laughs> I deserve it, don't I? Yeah. I do deserve it. Scruffy get. To clean it, what you need is just a bit of um, our old favourite. Um, what's it called? What's this called? I forgot. No, you need a brush. Oh, Twiggy says I don't need this. I need a brush. Well, you need Twig that for wiping it down. Oh, I need this for wiping it down. Twiggy's got to get me a brush now. And then I've just got. A bowl of just lukewarm with a tiny little bit of soapy water in it there. So, should you get the brush and then we'll get it clean. Oh, he's back with the brush. You can see when you're cleaning it, you need to be careful. You need to get in all the nooks and crannies. <laughs> show you how to put it back on now because I reckon I can do that. Don't put it back on. Don't put it back on. Let it all dry first. All right. So what you do next, you just leave it here just to dry off for a bit. So come back when it's dried. <laughs> so I left the coil out so it could dry. So now it's dried so but it's dark now so I've had to come in the house. But I've kept my hat on for continuing. <laughs> can't say it. Continuity. 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 Yeah. So 
here it is now look at that it's a lovely gleaming clean coil look oh that's lovely isn't it you see on this side now it still has got that chip in it so i'm going to have to um, buy another one so just because that's not going to be protecting it properly now but the moral of this video is if you've just started please don't underestimate how much rubbish gets in under your coil even if it's that tight and you think it won't go under like i did um because what will happen is you won't find nothing like i've not been finding anything so let's see how this coin machine performs then on our next outing hopefully it'll be tomorrow but i think it's raining so it might be a week after all right till later then diggity dig diggity dig, dig, dig. dig.